news, my lovely, wonderful people. Amnesty International calls out federal government for warning Arise TV. How can you, because of one man whose matter is unclear, be warning the media not to speak about it? Is this democracy or is there something ongoing on here that we all need to truly, sincerely understand? So these are some of the issues and some of the matters going on. And every single person is wondering, you know, when do we, where, where do we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? And when do we get out of this? You know, Tinubu, you know, NBC, MB, NBC is using, you know, Tinubu is using NBC to go against the people, you know, and this is very, very unbelievable. This is terrible. And Nigerians are wondering, you know, how, how did we get here in the first place? Why so much lie? Why so much things going on? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, so we can always get all the latest news together. Let's get all the details. Amnesty International calls out federal government for warning Arise TV. Global human rights organization Amnesty International has called out the federal government for issuing a warning to Arise Television for allegedly using derogatory and insightful comments on its station. Late Nigeria reported on Friday that the federal government, through the National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, issued a final warning to Arise TV over the use of derogatory and inciting remark on its station. The warning was contained in a letter titled Propaganda of Derogatory and Inciting Remark, Final Warning by NBC Director General. Dr. Dalarubi Shehu on October the 6th, 2023. The letter urged the TV station to have a delay mechanism to guard guests against undesired comments, and if the words do not suit well, then it should not be made known to all. The letter, which was addressed to the Chief Executive Officer of Arise Global Media Limited also urged the TV station to keep to its responsibility of keeping its guests in check rather than allowing them to make work, to make statements that may not go well. Reacting to the station, to the uh, reacting to the action, Amnesty International took to its ex formal formerly known as Twitter to criticize the government for using the derogatory and the regulation trying to silence the press, an independent body. This is not right and this is not acceptable. The International Rights Group said the government was not ready to be held accountable, so they used regulatory regulation to get at the media. This is not right. The group noted that Amnesty International condemns the final warning, yes, issued to Arise TV by the federal government through Nas National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, targeting Arise TV simply for doing their work, sending the wrong message to Nigerians authority and not prepared, are not prepared to be held accountable. Nigerians authority must stop the unlashing of guests to silence the media organization like Arise TV, which are credible and are ensuring independent, diverse media space in the country and fulfilling people's rights to information. Using regulation as a way to silence independent journalism is, is completely unacceptable. The media in Nigeria must be free to express the right of freedom, to express and protect the national law and integrity of the people by speaking truth to authority. So they are not accusing MBA of coming out and saying something that is not right. They did not say they came to fabulate stories. No, they said they should guard their guests. They should make sure that they have a delay mechanism. And I'm wondering who decides all this delay mechanism, how, you know, so most of these things that are going on is very clear 
that some persons, some people want their matter to remain private because whatever goes on into the air these days becomes, you know, an int whatever you put in the media or, or online. So long as there is internet, the, remember that the remember that the internet, the, you know, today is a global village. Whatever you put there, the whole of the world, the nations of the world will see. So they are very particular. They are scared of making sure that, you know, people do not get the truth or, you know, things are not revealed and that people, you know, are kept, you know, in darkness with regards to happenings going on in the country. But we'll not let this happen. No, not on our watch. So Amnesty International has written to them saying this is not right. You are not supposed to do this. What you are doing now is totally, completely unacceptable. You are not supposed to act in such a way and in such a manner. Why would you be putting a check on Arise TV for coming out and for speaking out and for saying enough is enough? What's the, what is it? He said they should put a delay mechanism on top of what now? Yeah, on top of what exactly? So these are some of the issues that are on ground and everybody is really asking themselves very serious questions again and again. What is going on here and how do we come out of the same thing, you know, that I've kept on, you know, back and forth in this country? You know, President Bola Metinubu, they are trying to use the media now to shut the voice of the people, which is not acceptable. I repeat, it's not acceptable. People know, the whole world is aware what's going on in Nigeria. So it's not a rice TV fault. Why not go to America and shut the media houses that are speaking about Chicago State University and the whole of Nigerians wanting to know about your resort status? Why? Why are you not doing that? How come you are only facing, you know, you're going after the low-hanging fruits? So we just need to be, you know, we need to, we need to ensure that the truth is being revealed, okay? Let's, let's stop all these lies that we keep parading to ourselves and let's come out for once and say the truth without, you know, without mixing words. Yes, remember that every time we pretend not to be aware of some of these things, people are just watching us and they are really saying to it in their mind, really? Really, they are looking at you and they are saying, really, really, you know, so it's, it's very shameful. It's just like David Cameron the other time, you know, he was saying to Buhari, fantastically corrupt. You know, the media, the, the, the uh, audio picked it up, picked it up. And that's how Nigerian, you know, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, leaders are being seen. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless. Bye for now.